Hello students, I am Dr. Madhushri Haldar from Department of Botany, Sirampur Girls College. In our previous video, uh, we have dissect out one genus of the family Malvaceae. Today we try to dissect out a uh, genus from the family Solanaceae and the genus is, I will show you, that is uh, Nicotiana plumbageni folia. Okay, so I will show you in detail. That is a single tweak of Nicotiana plumbageni folia. I have collected it from the same locality, Holy uh, Motion College and adjacent area. So let's study its morphology. It will show that the stem of this genus Nicotiana is cylindrical and there are many small hairs on the surface of the stem. Okay, so there are many small hairs on the surface of the stem and the stem is little bit hard not uh, very soft in nature and if we look at the leaf the arrangement of leaf or phyllotaxy is alternate you will show that the arrangement of the leaves are alternate and the leaves are simple and lanceolate in shape and there are many small hair also on the leaves surface but the margin of the leaves are wavy in nature and the apex is acute okay next thing we have to study is the inflorescence but before that uh, another more thing about the leaf is the the leaf is sessile there is no leaf stalk or petiole you can see that the leaf is sessile next come to the portion of inflorescence okay so that is the inflorescence of nicotiana and you can see that the inflorescence type is cymose okay the inflorescence type is cymose and the axis terminated into a open flower then there is a bud that is quite older that is quite older and then the uh, then a younger bud is there so the inflorescence type is obviously cymos and uh, the flowers arranged in one direction of the axis that's why this type of inflorescence is known as helicoid cyme okay now come to the portion of the dissection of the single flower of nicotiana now we have to separate out one flower from the axis and put it in a watch glass with little bit water otherwise it can dry up so for this section of the flower you have to give a incision before that we have to study the morphology of the flower the flower is actually quite long you can see that while i will put in a slide so the flower is uh, approximately 3 to 3.5 centimeter in length and purplish white in color and the number of petals are five and uh, you can see that 
on the petals are fused or joined in condition uh, so that is gamma petalous condition then the calyx portion so the calyx has a short stalk or the flower is pedicellate okay that is a short stalk uh, obviously uh, this is called the pedicel so the flower is pedicellate now we have to dissect out the flower for this we have to incise the flower through its calyx and separate the calyx from the flower So I have isolated the calyx from the flower. Okay, that is the calyx portion of the flower. So the number of sepals. You can see that the number of sepals are five actually. the number of sepals are 5 and at the base they are um, fused and at the apex they are free so that is gamosepalous the calyx is gamosepalous you can see that there are many small hairs on the calyx also I will show you the upper surface of the calyx so that you can see the calyx is also there is many small, uh, small hairs on the calyx also and the shape of the calyx is campanulate okay the calyx is also quite long now we uh, almost one centimeter in length okay now come to the portion of corolla you can see that the corolla is also quite long and uh, the base of the corolla actually maximum portion of the corolla is cylindrical and at the upper portion the petals are free now we have to dissect the flower or separate out the corolla and open it up so you can see that this is the ovary and the ovary is superior and the flower is hypogynous that is the style portion and this is the stigma okay so we have to separate out the gynoecium very gently from the flower so this is the gynoecium okay now look at the petal the number of petal is 5 and look at the anthers the number of anthers are also 5 
but the filaments of the anthers are fused with the petals this condition is known as epipetalous stamens okay so we can say that the flower is actinomorphic and pentamerous okay i will show you one single anther the anther is yellow to brown in color and it is bilobed okay so that is the bi so that is a single anther bilobed anther the size of anther is approximately um, 0.5 to 1 mm i think and uh, i will show you again the condition of the anther and the filaments that is fused with you can see that the anthers filaments are fused in condition with the petals and this condition is known as epipetalous and another more thing is that the anthers there are five anthers uh, the anthers at the middle is uh, with short filament uh, in compare with other four okay so that is the corolla of the nicotiana plumbageni folia with its five epipetalous anther okay and that is the calyx campanulate calyx that is a single anther that is gynoecium now come to the portion of gynoecium of nicotiana plumbageni folia i i'll show you the style is long and uh, the stigma is actually bilobed in structure and quite flattened so um, i will recap one one once more the diagnostic character that we find from this genus uh, of um, nicotiana uh, that belongs to the family solanaceae uh, that is the arrangement of the leaf is alternate and the stem is cylindrical uh, one more thing is that um, is the pentamerous and actinomorphic hypogynous flower uh, with superior ovary and uh, one more thing is that that is very important and diagnostic character of the family is the calyx which is persistent i will show you in the fruit of nicotiana plumbageni folia that is an one flower that converts into a fruit in this in this the calyx is persistent okay that is a mature fruit actually that is a immature fruit you can see that that is a immature fruit and this is a mature fruit of nicotiana plumbageni folia in which the calyx is persistent the, the fruit is dried up but and split it as because the fruit type of fruit of nicotiana or um, this genus is capsular type so um, you can see that the fruit is dehisc but the calyx is persistent calyx is present in the dehisc fruit so the calyx is persistent on fruit even after the fruit is matured and bursted
okay so that is another more important diagnostic character of the family persistent calyx okay uh, now one more thing that is impossible to do in um, in this lockdown period from home that is uh, also very important and in our syllabus is the cross section of the ovary but i will show you in some handmade drawing that is actually the ts of ovary and from ts of ovary we will find one more character of the family solanaceae is the oblique placentation and we have to do another important thing uh, for that we have to um, cut down or uh, uh, do a section or cross section of the bud and draw this floral diagram that is nothing but the arrangement of different floral parts of the flower and uh, that is the mother axis these are the sepals outer hole is sepal and uh, second hole is petals and uh, these are the and these are the and these are the um, epipetalous stamens and um, this is actually the um, oblique placentation this is actually the oblique placentation okay this is actually the oblique placentation and the ovules are arranged in um, the ovary two chambered ovary is there and uh, that is in syncarpus condition so we have to do this obviously um, but we are unable to do that from home so i think this video is helpful for the students and uh, thank you that's all for today